Today we discuss about angle made by transversal. Angle made by transversal. Let's say we have two lines, not necessarily to be parallel. Let's say two lines, line L and line M is intersected by a line. Let's say the line is BT. This line T is called the transverse. When the two lines L and M is intersected by a line called T, then this line is called the transversal. So this line will make the eight angles. So this transversal will make eight angles with the line L and M. So there are some definitions regarding these angles. That is, first one is about corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. In this figure, the angle 1 and angle 5 both are on, are on the same side of the transversals. 1 and 5 both are on the same side of the transversals. And angle 1 is above the line L as well as the angle 5 is above the line N. So 1 and 5 will form a corresponding angles because they are on the same side of the transversals and both are above the lines. That is, 1 is above the line L and 5 will above the line M. So 1 and 5 are the corresponding angles. In the same way, 2 and 6 because they are on the same sides and they are above the lines. 2 and 6 is also form in corresponding angles. Same way, 3 and 7. The angle 3 and 7 is the corresponding angles because they are on the same side and both are below the lines. Both are below the lines. So 3 and 7. In the same way, 4 and 8 is also in the corresponding angles because both are on the same side of the transversal and both are below the lines. So 4 and 8 both are corresponding. So basically there are 4 pairs of corresponding angles 1 comma 5, 2 comma 6, 3 comma 7 and 4 comma 8. No. Second types of angles are is the alternate alternate interior angle alternate interior angles in short we write a i alternate interior angles same way the corresponding angles in short we write c corresponding uh, for alternate interior angles we alternate interior angle we write a i a uh, for alternate interior angles we from z ki shape dekhenge this figure mein for alternate interior angles, we see always the shape of set. So this angle and this angle will form a alternate interior pair. For in this figure, angle three and angle five form a alternate interior pair because we see the shape of first set. So three and five will form a alternate interior pair. In the same way, we shape the reverse. So these two angles is also form a alternate interior angles. This is angle three and this is angle five. So three will five will form a alternate interior angles and angle four and angle six will form a alternate interior angles. Three and five comma four and six will form a alternate interior angles. Now the next one is co interior angle co interior angles co interior angles the angles which are on the same side of the transversal the angles which are on the same side of the transversal and between the lines for example 4 and 5 both are on the same side of the transversal and they are between the lines l and m so 4 and 5 will form a co interior angles 4 and 5 will form a co interior angles. In the same way, 3 and 6, in the same way, 3 and 6 is also form a co interior angles. So form a co interior angles. Co interior angle means the angles are on the same sides and between the lines. 4 and 5 and 3 and 6 are the co interior angles. Now, when L is parallel to M. When L is parallel to M, then first the corresponding angles are 
equal. Corresponding angles are equal only when the line is parallel. Lines are parallel. That is, L is parallel to corresponding angles are. That is, one and five are equal. Two and six are equal. And three and seven are equal. And four and eight are equal. So angle one and angle five are equal. Angle angle two and six are equal. And angle three and angle seven are equal. Three and seven are equal. And angle four and angle eight are. Equal. So corresponding angles are equal when the lines are parallel. Now the second result: alternate interior angles are also equal. Alternate interior angles means that is angle three and five are equal and four and six are equal. angle angle three and angle three and five are equal and four and six are equal. Angle three and five are equal and angle four and angle six are equal. In the case of alternate interior angles, when the lines are parallel, the angles are equal. On the third one, that is co-interior sum of sum of co-interior angles is 180 degree. Sum of co-interior angle is 180 degree. For example, in this case. Angle four, five. The sum of angle four and five. The sum of angle four and five is one eighty degree, and the sum of angle three and angle also one eighty degree. That is, sum of co-interior angle is always one eighty degree. So these are the three types of angles, and uh, when the lines are parallel, the corresponding angles are equal, and alternate interior angles are equal. And the sum of the co-interior angle is always 180 degree. While solving the problems, we have to remember all these three results. Now uh, we do some problems regarding this first problem. That is, let's say there is there are two lines L and M which are parallel. It is given that line L is parallel to M, and there is a transversal T. Let's say this angle is 50 degree. So We have to find all the remaining angles. We have to find all the remaining angles. Let's say we name them. Let's say this angle is one. This angle is two. This angle is three. So angle four and this fifty degree. These two angles are equal because it will form a corresponding angle. So angle four is equals to fifty degree because of the corresponding angles. Now, a uh, angle one and fifty degree. They are lie on a line, so it will form a linear pair. So the sum of angle one and fifty degree is equals to one eighty degree. Angle one plus fifty degree equals to one eighty degree. So angle one is equals to one thirty degree. Angle one equals to one thirty degree. So as angle one is one thirty degree, so angle five is also one thirty degree because angle one and five are equal because of the Corresponding angles, so we can say that angle five is one thirty degree. So we find angle one as one thirty degree. We find already angle four is. Uh, angle one and three are equal because vertically opposite angles. So angle three is also one thirty degree. Angle two is equal to fifty degree because these are again vertically opposite angles. So angle two is fifty degree because vertically opposite angles in the same way. Now, as we know that angle five is one thirty degree, angle five is one thirty degree. So the uh, angle seven is opposite to five. So five and seven both are equal because of the vertically opposite angles. So angle seven is one thirty degree again. Now four and six both are equal. So as angle four is fifty degree, so angle six is also. Uh, when one angle is given, we can find all the remaining angles. Now the next question. We move to the next question. Let's see. Line L is parallel to M, and T is the transversal. And let's say this angle is fifty degree. What? What should be the value? As we see that. These two angles 
form a cointegral angle. 50 and x are cointegral angles, and we know that the sum of cointegral angle is 180 degree. So 50 degree plus x equals to 180 degree. So x can be written as 180 degree minus 50 degree, which is comes to be 130 degree. So x, the value of x is 130 degree. And the next problem is. Let's say there are two lines L and M which are parallel and there is a transverse. Let's say this angle is 5x and this angle is 2x plus and we have to find the value. We have to find the value of so from this figure we see that 5x and 2x plus 60 degree form an alternate interior angles because the z will come. So 5x and 2x plus 60 form an alternate interior angle. And we know that when the lines are parallel, the alternate interior angles are equal. So 5x is equals to 2x plus 60 degree. We shift 2x here. We get 5x minus 2x equals to 60 degree. So 3x is equals to 60 degree. So x becomes 60 degree divided by 3, which is comes to be 20 degree. So the value of x is.